Okay, hello everybody. For those that's watching, this is dealing with the verdict of my brother, Eric LaFleur. Uh, for those who've been watching, um, he was given um, a mandatory life sentence for a supposedly two rape charges that I don't know if he confessed to it. I don't know whatever came about the situation, but um, I feel as though uh, he was railroaded by the judicial system in the state of Louisiana. I uh, want answers. Why did it take them three years to bring this to trial? Um, uh, they came up with all kinds of excuse. attorney or public defender. She had bit, got bit by a spider and she, um, um, all type of stuff, guys. So, um, again, I'm, I want to, I'm sharing this live before. Well, first of all, please like share and subscribe and also share my video. This is happening way too much to our black men here in our country. Um, I was railroaded. Even they, they even uh, took an initiation as far as um, um, his criminal background, which I felt they they got against him in every way possible, and um, I feel that um, I feel that deep in my heart um, he was railroaded, and um, and this is happening way too much in our country. Um, we as far as people, we as Black African Americans, whether it be the whether it be men and women. Uh, we're being railroaded by by the judicial system, and I'm about our character and our skin color. Um, I've known from experience where, um, if you do have a criminal background, they do look at that. Now, I am aware of that. But uh, um, even after the crime has happened, or even after the offenses have happened years ago, they still will count. Them. They stay out of the jails and out of the prison system because that whenever you have a criminal background that follows you life, uh, this verdict was unfair. He was found guilty on all eight charges. Now, as far as those rape charges, we're totally we're totally are in shock and disbelief. Um, we feel like this shouldn't have happened. And um, and we feel like um, this wasn't right in, in every aspect, in every way. Um, not right at all, and um, I want to comment it on and everything. So this is really waking me up. It should, it should be waking up us, waking us up as a country, as far as being black in this country. As far as if you have any type of criminal backgrounds, just know they're using that against you. That follows you wherever you go. So if you have to go back to court or you get in trouble again, those those crimes, whatever you did previously, will still be with you. That's why it's so important to stay out of trouble and stay out of these making right choices in life. And that's what we need to do as a people, you know. And this is this is awful. This is absolutely awful. I'm gonna start posting this via uh, Instagram. I'm on as many people that could uh, share my story, follow my story. These things again, guys. So this is gonna be a quick video. I'm gonna be sharing some more later tonight about my brother's situation, his guilty verdict, as far as as far as his trial was concerned. Um, very. Uh, love you guys. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Peace, love.